ideally this one won't take as long as some of my other ones because I do know that I get into some major tangents when I explain things. So this will be for those that wish I would just shut up and get to the answer already. <laughs> Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather and this is The Happenings with HAP. HAP meaning my initials. So I wanna first start off by saying that this is the first I'm filming since I launched my channel and the amount of comments and love I've been getting has been so wonderful. And I'm really thanking you guys for commenting, subscribing and all that. I'm really excited to continue this journey and the support is really wonderful so i want to say thank you and i hope you guys will stick around and enjoy the content that i keep creating because i'm having a lot of fun and i hope you guys are too so today i figured that we were gonna do another tag because apparently my channel is kind of turning into the tag channel not really but i just really enjoy tags this tag is the rapid fire book tag it was originally created by girl reading and you can find the link to the original video down below in the description bar Ebook or physical book? Hands down physical book. Can't afford it? Love them anyway. Paperback or hardback? I am paperback trash. I do not like hardbacks. Paperback all the way. Online or in-store book shopping? There's nothing like walking around the racks of a bookstore and just seeing a cover and being drawn to it. So in-store all the way. Trilogies or series? I'd have to go with series. Heroes or villains? I'm always gonna start with the heroes, but the villains gotta be worth something, but heroes for sure. A book you want everyone to read. That would be The Book of Lost Things by John Connolly. Not many people talk about it, it's amazing. I'm going to put a video in the cards of my booktube newbie challenge where I talk a little bit more about it. Yeah, definitely read that one. Recommend an underrated book. I just did, The Book of Lost Things by John Connolly. Read it. The last book you finished, that would be Pride by E.B. Zaboy. The last book you bought, that would be the the Wicked Redhead by Beatrice Williams. I bought a couple for books, so that's technically the last alphabetically. Weirdest thing you've used as a bookmark? I would just memorize the page number. I can't really do that anymore, but I've definitely done that before. Use books, yes or no? Yes, if they are in good condition. I hate to see books thrown out, but if they're ripped and stuff, no. Especially if I'm paying for it. If it's free, I'll be more lenient. Top three favorite genres. Fantasy, historical fiction, and classics, I think. Yeah, we'll say that, yeah. Borrow or buy? I definitely borrow more than I buy, so it would have to be borrow. Characters or plot? <sighs> This is tough. I love a good plot, but if I'm not connecting to the characters, I won't care what happens, so characters. Long or short books? I love me some long books. I'm a Cassandra Clare fan, so I obviously love me some long books. Name the first three books you can think of. Interview with a Vampire, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and The Book of Lost Things. Books that make you laugh or cry. I definitely cried in when reading the Harry Potter books, in particular book five for an obvious death and book seven for many obvious deaths. So yeah, Harry Potter. Our world or fictional worlds? With the way things are right now, uh, fictional worlds because it's tough out there right now. Audiobooks, yes or no? A resounding yes to audiobooks. I love audiobooks. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? I do, I like nice covers because that's usually what draws me in. But if it has a great synopsis and I'm interested, I don't really care what the cover looks like, but covers definitely draw me in. Book to movie or book to TV adaptations? This is a tough one. There are wonderful book to movie adaptations, but as someone that likes long books, book to TV adaptations can sometimes be better just because there's more time to flesh everything out. So book to a TV adaptations, but there's there's good and bad in both. A movie or TV show you preferred to its book? That would have to be Fight Club. I might do a video on that. Let me know down below if you're interested. Series or standalones? I'm a sucker for series, so series hands down. And that's it. And this is not gonna be a 30 minute video. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really fun. I tag anybody that wants to do this challenge. Love to see some of your eyes' answers down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. 
bye. With the way things are right now, um, I got some. Audi, our world, our world or fictional worlds. Our world or fictional world, oh my God, I can't say that word.